Okay, this is how to get Bump in a Road calling card. This is part of the Season 2 progression. Alright, so it's right here. It is use proximity mines to destroy 10 enemy ground vehicles. Obviously the big thing to use is the proximity mine. That's important. Other guns honestly don't matter too much, even tactical. I personally use the decoys, that way I can kind of lead people to a vehicle or lead people away from it. You'll see I rotate the webs around a lot just for my operator challenges and I use ghosts solely so people don't quite find me as quick. That way my bouncing or my proximity mines last that much longer. And then finally you also want to make sure your field upgrade is munition box. That way you can just constantly get more in case someone's driving at you or something. And currently Kingslayer is kind of the easiest to do it on. That's what's active right now. So that's what I suggest doing on, if not plunder. So generally my strategy was fly straight to any vehicle and throw one straight underneath it. As close as I can or best I could. Um, once the game gets going further down the line, I kind of choose the vehicles that are on the edge because people are, that's more likely when someone will hop in a vehicle to get out of the storm. There you go, someone jumped right in it and got one that quick. Enemy UAV overhead. So here's an example, we're all running from the storm Enemy right now. I was able to throw my mine out, but I get killed shortly after, <laughs> like that. So this is very important to go ahead and make sure you watch the kill cam. That way your mine is still active this whole time. And I get the kill. Also instead of ghosts you could go restock. I mean obviously that's a good choice too. I just did ghost just so I stay alive longer. I kinda just was camping after I placed a mine basically. Enemy launched an advanced UA base. <laughs> oh, great. Stitch. As a good example, sometimes there are no good ones in the circle, so you kinda gotta put one in the circle. So luckily in this mode, the storm doesn't hurt you too much, so you can fly in it and just drive one out real quick. And this way you can kinda set it up just for a better spot for you. I like to have the back against something, and that way uh, it just makes it easier. You know they're gonna go forward over it. Be advised, you might be target close track. Enemy dropping into the AO. This is tracker three one, good cop. Enemy launched an advanced UAV. We're exposed. Enemy UAV overhead. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. No, he's on that run. Gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Enemy launched an advanced UAV. We're exposed. Hostiles into the area. 
Yeah, this is a good example of the storm moving. So obviously you see this guy just on the other side of the building to my left. I, I don't push him because I know my vehicle is over there. So once he runs from a storm, there's a good chance he might go for it. And as you see, he's kind of lining up for it right now. And there it is. Okay, well that's, uh, that's how I conclude the challenge. I hope uh, you enjoy this. Hope this helped. Uh, like and subscribe. And um, thanks for watching.